Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Starfield. So, आज बहुत मूड है कुत्ते की मौत मारने का सबको फोर्टनाइट में नहीं हो रहा है तो दूसरे गेम में करता हूँ One man made all of this. Nothing was here until we're on hope. I don't want to hear any complaints. Keep an eye on your values. Protect your own. Excuse me. Excuse me. A little desperate here. This is such a long shot. All right, Adela. Deep breath. <sighs> oh God. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed, or worse. You are sincerely the answer to my prayers. So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock, and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> well, I, uh, <laughs> it's quite bad for me. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel, nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Free Star security, the works. Everyone demanding a power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo. We have been running ever since. It gets even worse. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim your Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? I don't know. I don't want anyone to get hurt. But he may not give you any choice. The company is, well, a real train wreck. I'm amazed they even have my last name on file. For once, working for such a dump is a good thing. Listen, I just haul, well, garbage. But you, I mean, you're armed and look well, awesome. I figure you could do a solid for the little guy, uh, girl. Plus credits. I did mention the credits, right? You are the best! This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Off-worlders 
trucks in space. <laughs> Their motto always cracks me up. Have you ever checked out the prices at Trident? You could buy like a fleet of home deck ships for the same price. Just keep it holstered. Sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think you could spare some time. Oh, you should have just said that. Of course I can help you. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. So grab drives, didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grab drive that looks like it could be compatible. With some minor adjustments. It's a good ship, too. But it's not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. 40,000? It's a pretty big ask given how rare these old grab drives are. As much as I'd love to, I just don't know if I can afford to take a loss on this. Again, I'm sorry. Hmm, that's something I hadn't considered. I could be famous, and with that comes more lucrative contracts. I'll tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. You're done right it is. I'll get to work on it right away. I recommend you go back to the ship like and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Doesn't work with you. I just gotta ask, um, why? Ron Hope's a damn hero, I think. Ron Hope, best thing to happen. Hey. As vital as spaceships are to these settled systems, everything would grind to a halt without the trade authority. Found it. Need anything? Just ask for me. Sal. Looks like another newcomer. Welcome to the pit stop. We have a little bit of everything. What uh, brings you to Hope Town? Just once I want to hear someone's here for a honeymoon. For the annual ice night drinking competition. A uh, word of warning, it can get a little rowdy here. Keep your gun holstered and there won't be any problems. Oh, you just became my favorite customer. You need anything? We've got more than booze here. You got it. He doesn't have any med kits. Okay, let's see what he has. Other than... Okay, nothing much, I guess. Day is always a good day. I'm doing down. You look like you just got here too, eh? What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. My friend got mugged last night, so I'm looking for something. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markham. 
I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the truth. Keep your eyes open. Make friends to watch your back. It gets better, I promise. I don't deal with smugglers of no good times. Well, I do, but more violent blood. My words, my bond. Looks like a place that doesn't mind some color. Or you can surrender. I drank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Do we really gotta pay off the tracker? Huh. Everybody always thinks I can be bought off. Not Ernesto. Maybe. Maybe not. People do say that about me. It's not easy. But I don't kill people that don't need killing. And all I have to back that up are words. I believe you'd say just about anything to avoid me taking you down. Well, I'm done talking. I heard the fighting. 
I'm so sorry. Take this reward. I have to go before another tracker arrives. Thank you. Oh, and isn't that a cheery thought? Just need a few supplies and I'm gone for good. Okay, we need to speak with Amin. Where is this Amin guy? In Polima. He's in Polima 1 or Polima 2? Your old sheep running is no easy task. What grad right? <laughs> Just joking with you. The paradiso engineers built me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right, this will be fun, and hopefully, there will be no explosions in the process. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Yes, of course I need your help. My team needs to stay on top of their daily maintenance, and I need to make my own preparations for this gravity drive you brought us. Your help is going to be vital to this procedure. And have no worries, it'll be easy. I'll guide you through the process. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about that. Just a little engineering humor. Uh, we've kept this ship going with minimal incidents this long. I'm not about to let anything happen to it now. But, to be clear, what we're doing is very dangerous, and we should be prepared for anything. Great, great, great! There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, 
You'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it! I wonder what else... Z dot power from Garopon to Cryogenic. Cryogenic radiator, auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Motherfucker! Port power pump to auxiliary. What? What am I doing wrong here? Port turbo pump Port turbo pump to auxiliary cryogenic radiator Port turbo pump Port turbo pump to auxiliary cryogenic radiator. The fucker. It's done. It's not done. Not 
Upgrade auxiliary module assembly. Okay, ये याद रखना भाई। यहाँ पे वो नाम एकदम सही से नहीं दिया हुआ है। You have to click on auxiliary module assembly to complete this because I have tried everything else. Do this and this will be done. Looks like everything is good. So put your end in line. Uh, can you go and phone the captain while they're finishing the installation? Thanks. Whatever you guys are doing, I don't want to be a part of it, but I just need my credit back, man. I you just stay out of trouble. Fuck you. Stay out of trouble, man. I wasted twenty five thousand credits for him. As a threat, you guys are doing me cross right now. The constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. Imagine all those faces staring at you every day. No pressure, right? Well, well. It would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. I hope that's not all you care about. It's not enough to help a ship full of poor colonists searching for a new home, I suppose. Still, you did help us. We don't have much to spare, but I'm sure we can find some way of repaying you. strict rules around here. You're lucky we're under orders not to escort you right off this ship. Now that we... <laughs> now there are other people out there.
did this speak with Abhi shit? The fuck? thought you would just kill me over and just level 28 ha akad dikha diya maine aaj level 28 ko zyada phad phad kar raha tha na 
पहले तो उसका शील तोड़ा फिर उसको तोड़ा अभी मेरे जहाज के साथ बहुत कम ही लोग टक्कर दे पाएंगे तो ये उनके जहाज भी थोड़ा पावरफुल जहाज मिला है तुमको स्कोर पावरफुल बना रहा है नहीं 
जब सुनवा निकलना तो हेड्रियन से और आगे हाँ से बात करते हैं फिर से मेरे को घूम के जाना पड़ेगा और जगह फिर जगह नहीं दबा नीचे मुझे क्यों लग रहा है कि ये लोग रेड डेविल एस क्यू आई है अपने पास भी चार स्किल पॉइंट है You might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how's it feel to be a citizen? It should. You risk life and limb to earn it. I still don't understand why people go through all these hoops for such an honor. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data, and well, we're going to need all the help we can get. These logs—they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. Well, eight. 
They went extinct a few decades back. A big lumbering thing called an Aceles. Something I'd love to learn more about, if we had the people to look into it. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found our research team? That's incredible. That accelerates everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait. Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. How? How exactly did you manage to find them? That's not funny. Seriously, how'd you find them? No. That's... that's insane. He died. They executed him. They... They faked his death? My entire unit, they threw us all to the wolves, but kept him? And now he's what? An advisor? Commanding the fleet in secret? What was so important that they had to keep him alive? Well, they certainly picked an expert, didn't they? Vey Victus. Still alive. What the hell? You see, this is why I hate the UC. Even the most basic sense of justice thrown out the window for any little reason. I guess it makes sense, though, doesn't it? The UC of that era only created me because they were afraid of a world without Vey Victus in command. Why would they get rid of him? As long as I live, I'll I shouldn't have told her that. that. I should have lied. Now Sam and Hadrian both knows about that old guy. Same mistake the UC made. Ignoring all the red flags. Because the UC, they did a lot of terrible things for that man. But even knowing they did, Knowing that they kept him alive all this time. You know what I feel right now? It's hope. I had no one when I was outside. I accidentally UC. told her about her. No father. red devils, no family. You should that have old told world that. Come on, where I was no one and my father mattered? That's gone. Thanks to what you and I have done, I have a place again. A purpose. Mm -hmm. But it's finally one I can be proud of. You and I, we're getting to change what the UC stands for. So I don't care if Evictus is alive or dead. He can rot for all I care. We're the ones who are making the settled systems and the UC better. Precisely. Because there's nothing we can do about past choices. What we can do is try and make the right ones now. So, let's get back to the business at hand. Now, my father just handing over the information on the research team and Kaiser out of the clear blue, I can't say I trust it. But, if he has something to gain from helping us prevent terramorph attacks, I'm not seeing it. So while you'll absolutely want to be cautious, what would you think about trying to bring back Kaiser? I can't blame you. If you decide you want to track Kaiser down, come back and I'll get you squared away. You thought some more about collecting Kaiser? It's hard to believe that Victus is doing this for the right reasons. But I think it'd be worth the risk. I'm honestly not sure what his endgame might be. Involving himself in preventing Terramorph attacks after all the damage he's done? Something doesn't add up. But he clearly understands how valuable it'd be to have Kaiser involved in this endeavor. So, I still think it'd be worth looking into. If you're willing. 
I think it's the right call. But if Kaiser has been out wandering on his own for all this time, you're gonna need a couple things. Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase, Nos belli machinis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? A battlefield? On Nira? Oh, sheesh. No wonder no one's found him. That sector of Nira was destination number one for Xeno weapons during the war. Add to that general environmental devastation and the kind of lawlessness that comes with any Free Star world, and that planet's got more than enough ways to make a visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One-of-a-kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by Joe. As good a place to start as any. Kaiser lets us do field work with a level of precision that there's really no other way to accomplish. More than a few of the options we're looking into. Detectors to uncover the Terramorph transmission method, or crafting a targeted biological agent. They require highly specific materials to test against. And asking a group of Marines to accompany us for that kind of work, well, it usually ended up with ruined samples and wounded teammates. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them. Okay. Maybe I just... So this is the place called Nira where Xeno weapons were tested. How are you? We're talking to a lot worse in Constellation. Nira was one of the biggest and nastiest battle sites of the whole colony war. Lots of dead militia here. Dead Marines.
new model on the floor. Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill. Proprietor. Jill. Not here to make your fortune out in the fields then, huh? Suit yourself. But there's no bot named Kaiser around. Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? At least that's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit-chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah, that machine's been out there a while now, hunting this one siren, his white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing. Or got him. Nasty kind of alien left behind after the colony war. Pretty much blind. Original ones brought to Nero were all Xena weapons. But those critters have long since passed. But they left behind more than enough untrained babies to keep the fields plenty interesting. That's where I recognize that insignia. Red Devils. Yeah. Ahab's definitely your bot. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot, little old white whale of your very own. Maybe you find him, maybe you get yourself killed. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here, so if you want to find him a whole lot faster, I'll sell you what I know about this. Kaiser's location. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. I mean, great for him, but that won't keep acetylene in our tanks. And, honestly, would you be able to tell if a Terramorph was attacking outside? Sorry. Hmm. Suit yourself. South Dock's a good place to find your bearings before heading in. And if you change your mind, off a stance. Okay, I think it's almost time here. Yeah. I will just end the video here and uh, we'll go out in the fields. To search for the robot. And we'll start from there in the next one. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. And don't forget to subscribe. I will be back with more exciting videos until then stay tuned and have a good day guys. Take care, have a good day.